are you hearing any clients ask for the combination of like social, mobile, analytics, and cloud? <laughs> All the time. In fact, uh, th this is uh, probably the biggest conversation at SAP right now. <laughs> All the time. In fact, uh, th this is uh, probably the biggest conversation at SAP right now. And I'll give you a concrete example of that. Let's say you're a utilities company and uh, you've heard of smart grid monitoring uh, of uh, the electronic uh, metering and so on. Um, well, you're getting data from a million different data points and you're going to need HANA or a fast way to process that information in real time. You need to put the information in the cloud so that you can access it anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, but unless you actually uh, put business analytics on top of that so you can make sense of the data and ultimately present it on a mobile device so you can take real time action for it, uh, you've really got a partial solution. So that, if you like, confluence of all the components SAP brings to bear, and certainly customers are thinking about, really means that uh, a mobility strategy these days is no longer just a mobility strategy. It's, it's really a far more comprehensive way that companies are looking at this space. As you see, we have three main pillars in our technology portfolio. Mobile, cloud, and in-memory HANA. And you saw Vishal yesterday talking about the convergence of those three technologies together. And I personally, as we discussed before, I see fast convergence between mobile and memory solutions in a cloud infrastructure. So I think this is the most interesting stuff I see today with our own SAP portfolio. And uh, customers, should consider the alignment between our or the, the, the convergence of our technology portfolio and their IT and business strategy. How are you seeing social solutions used within the enterprise at SAP? Yeah, I think first of all, uh, another confirmation that those mega trends like social, big data, analytics, and then memory cannot be uh, seen in an isolated way. Um, for me, is another the example here is analytics combined with social. If you look at um, our business objects mobile BI solution, there is already integration into Streamworks. So you look at um, information, you analyze, and then the key findings you can share with one click also with your communities or with certain um, uh, distribution lists, etc. So if somebody asks you to put an ROI or justification for enterprise social solutions, mm -hmm. where would you find that? Where would you even start looking for the justification for that? I think, um, and I, I, you know, I can already um, share my experiences, uh, you, you getting aware of what, about certain topics that people are working on and inject yourself that you couldn't do before because mm -hmm. the point-to-point -point communication over email doesn't allow you to understand what's going on in your ecosystem. You work it, uh, with the HANA platform team. Yes. And sentiment analysis, the ability to look at what the world is saying about you, your products, your services, your company in real time and do something with that. Does HANA play a role there? Absolutely, uh, Kevin. Uh, HANA plays a very big role there. As you know, uh, the sentiment that we uh, try to measure in the marketplace comes from a lot of social media channels. And the data that is involved here comes from a very, very wide variety of sources. We're talking unstructured data, we're talking text, we're talking video, we're talking streaming events. All of these, if properly analyzed, go towards uh, measuring the sentiment that is out there about a certain product, about a company, about a process, about an event, and so forth. And more and more companies that touch the end consumer are very concerned about how to measure it, how to manage it, and how to monitor it. So to that end, HANA is a very, very big um, help to them because if you think about it, it's the variety of data, the volume of data, and the velocity, all of which HANA handles very well. And HANA, let's, uh, be, uh, let's be clear, is not just a database. It is way beyond that. With its processing power and its ability to do some heavy-duty crunching, it is able to deliver in true real time uh, results that help companies manage, manage and monitor sentiment about them. 
how do you see mobility and analytics working hand in hand, or do you? I do. So one of the things that we see today with business analytics, I mean business intelligence, Kevin, is that IT is struggling tremendously with user adoption. And when I say user adoption, I mean projects are, are being completed, but business users, the user adoption rate is literally tanking. And one of the things that I see is because of the accessibility and the ease of accessibility of mobility, if IT embraces it more, I think that they'll see a spike in user adoption. Wow, so where do you see business processes being re-engineered and change because of accessibility now? So I think that, first of all, the go-to-market, right? So a lot of times when we think about desktop, we just meeting with Sanjay Poon and his topic came up, when we think about desktop, there is so much more flexibility in terms of building these massive systems. The beauty about the mobility, whether it's your tablet, your 7-inch screen, or your 3-inch screen, is that you so have to confine your message on what you're delivering. It helps to simplify the process. So you were sharing with me just a moment ago this whole idea of the platform in the cloud, Afari in the cloud. Tell me what's coming down the road here. So we just announced Afari in the cloud. Basically put it on Amazon and have a consulting partner um, uh, maintain it for us, make sure the upgrades are in place uh, so the customer doesn't have to do that. It's an option, delivery option. To me, people are psyched about the cloud. At the end of the day, it is the customer's decision on whether I want to go on-premise or into the cloud. And it's not our decision. We should just offer the infrastructural um, capabilities to go either way. If you want to, if you're, if you want to put your um, investments into on-premise, you put it on a balance sheet. You spent the capex, and you think that is a long-term better solution for me. That's absolutely fine. If you say no, I want to consume it as a service. I want to start small, grow, maybe switch to on-premise later on. We should enable that as well. So uh, for the mobile platform, what we have done. Uh, we have the 2.2 release coming out in, in uh, early November for the on-premise solution. And we opened up and changed to uh, uh, changed our interfaces from our proprietary protocol to uh, HTTP REST. And we said, listen, let's grab these interfaces, these APIs, and put them into the cloud as well. So that apps that run against these HTTP interfaces on-premise can also run in the cloud. So one app, two deployment options, depending on what your needs are. And I have the privilege of spending time with fellow Boisean, Brian Whitmarsh. Go Broncos. Go Broncos. And you are working with Afaria. Correct, yes. And up front today, Vishal Sikha was talking about a new product that SAP has called SAP Box. Right. How I understand it, it's like Dropbox, but for the enterprise. But here's the angle I want to talk about today. Afaria is being used to secure that. Why is Afaria involved? You know, we're familiar with what Dropbox is, and those types of solutions where I want to get a file out to all my different mobile devices very easily. So I drag it up to the cloud or drag it up to a public mm -hmm. box, and then I have access to it you know, for my mobile device. But with company-sensitive information like roadmaps and uh, updates, those types of things, product-related, uh, it's probably not the best thing for me to just upload those to a public uh, Dropbox uh, where I don't mm -hmm. own that information and you know uh, it needs to be secure and so we have uh, built uh, the ability to have an enterprise version of that Dropbox and Afaria is able to get it down as a container based solution to the device provision it to connect to the proper um, enterprise uh, connectors uh, and then allow for me to be able to go in log into that container and uh, interact with files not just my files but obviously all uh, my colleagues files